I have a nice optimization problem for you. It says a farmer who has 600 feet of fencing uh, wants to build this type of pen that's like a rectangular pen, but it's sectioned into three different parts. I don't know, maybe he's got like chickens in one, pigs in another, and I don't know what other animals farmers have, but for whatever reason, we need this sectioned off. And you've got only 600 feet of fence but you want the most space for your animals to uh, reside in because you're a generous farmer and you want to be mathematically uh, good to them. So we need to set up some equations and take some derivatives, right? To maximize something, we take the derivative and set it equal to zero to find out where it's a maxima. But before I do that, I need to do some labeling so I can come up with my equations. Now, I'm just going to call this whole side L for length. And if this is symmetrical, and I'm assuming it's symmetrical, then the other side is also going to be of length L. And then I've got four pieces in here, and I'm just going to call them W for width. And again, if these are symmetrical, these are all Ws. Now, this side plus 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 this side, they need to equal what? Well, they need to equal 600 because my 600 feet of fence has to make up every single side. So I have 600 equals this L plus this L plus the first W plus the second W plus the third and the fourth. Or if you like, L plus L is 2L w four times is 4w. And I might as well divide both sides by 2 just to make it a little bit cleaner. 600 divided by 2 is 300. 2l divided by 2 is l. 4l or 4w divided by 2 is 2w. Okay, so I have a nice neat little equation equation that describes my constraint. Your constraint is the number that you are given. So I only have 600 feet of fence. I'm constrained. I can't go out buy more fence. That's all I've got to work with. Maybe he's not a wealthy farmer. I don't know. I want to maximize the area. What's the area of this pen? Well, as you know, the area of a rectangle is length times width. It doesn't matter that I've got uh, these extra fences in there. Let's just assume that they uh, don't really take away from the area. So the area, as we all know, I'm going to write up here, A for area is length times width. Now this is the thing I want to take the derivative of because it's what I want to maximize. This is the thing I want to take, uh, I'm sorry, this is the thing I want to maximize. This is the thing I want to take the derivative of. But it's in terms of two variables. and I don't feel like doing a product rule. I don't feel like doing a implicit differentiation kind of deal. So let's use what we already know about L and W, and we're going to make a substitution. You'll see that if I subtract 2W from both sides of this equation, I'll have 300 minus 2W equals L. And now I have an expression, in of an expression of L in terms of just W. And now I'm going to substitute that in for this L in my area equation. So I have area equals length times width. But now that we know, L is 300 minus 2W times W. And if I distribute that, I'll have 300W minus 2W squared. Now, my area is in terms of just W, which means I can take the derivative of both sides. Well, area, the area of this thing is just a constant, right? The derivative of a constant is zero. The derivative of 300w is 300. The derivative of minus 2w squared is minus 4w. And hey, look at this. I have a really simple equation to solve. If I just add 4w to both sides, 4w equals 300. Divide both sides by 4. I'm getting w equals 300 over 4. I think it's going to be 150 over 2 is going to be 75. I have that W equals 75. Now that I know what W is, I can take that value and substitute it in for my W in my L equation. I'll have 300 
minus 2w, but w is 75. 2 times 75 is 150. 300 minus 150 is 150. So that means my pen, to have maximum area, has to have a length of 150 and a width of 75. And if I actually want the area, the area that is maximized, I'll multiply those two things together. I'll do length times width. And this is the point where I am thoroughly unprepared because I did not calculate this value. So whatever 100 times 75 is will be the maximum area. So the whole name of the game here is I like to draw a picture and label it. You use your constraint to set up an equation. And then the other equation is whatever you want to maximize or minimize. You solve for one of the variables in the constraint equation and make a substitution into the equation you want to maximize. Take the derivative, set it equal to zero, solve for one of your variables, and plug that in to the other equation to get the second variable. I hope you got something out of this. Please like and subscribe. Check out my website for free formula sheets and have a great day.